This is Allie Gentry on converting an Excel spreadsheet to an XML file. Hello everybody. Well, I'm going to show you how to take a Excel uh, spreadsheet that has data in it and convert it to an XML file. It's actually quite simple. You first want to add this developers tab so you could work with your in your uh, with your XML Office 2010 in Excel. So I'm going to go up to file. I am going to select options and then I am going to select customize and on the right side under the customize the ribbon this should be unchecked so you just want to check it and you want to select OK and then this tab will show up. Then once the tab's uh, shown up you have your spreadsheet that you're wanting uh, to convert to an XML uh, template that you that you have and th this is assuming that you already have an Excel template and let me just show you what it looks like here let me open it up. So here's the XML template uh, that it has name, um, thumbnail, fi file, and description. So that's where I want to convert my spreadsheet into that layout. So what I'm going to do is here's my spreadsheet and I actually did name my columns to match. You don't have to do that but I did to, to match the field names that I had in my XML document. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to select source. And when I select source, I have to specify which XML map or file I'm wanting to use to convert my data into. So I am going to select mappings and I am going to navigate back to where I have my, um, my template XML file. So I'm going to use the uh, Air Force XML. I'm going to open that up. Uh, you could rename that if you want to here. Um, I just I'll keep it for default just for this example, uh, and I'll do OK. Now it's going to actually add. Here's the different fields that are in my XML. So the next step I want to do is I'm going to click and drag and replace. Or I'm actually creating the schema so I'm going to drop in the name and it actually populated the rest of it out because I had named each of these to match my XML. Now if I wouldn't have done that I would have had to drag each one of these over to our columns. So with that um, now I've got my spreadsheet mapped to the default settings that are in my XML document. Now the next thing I need to do is come back up to developer and I hit export. Now I can name this anything I want and uh, testing one and I'll actually save it back into that that same location and I'll do export and it's done. So now we'll come back here here's my test uh, uh, testing one XML let me take a look. I have about 4,000 rows um, in this in this spreadsheet and as you can see now it populated all the information. I got the name, the thumbnail, file, and the description and as I scroll down you're going to see all of it's populated within there.